Hello, this is a follow-up video for the VR Interactable uh, video 3. So I'm trying to f remember what I did and what state it was in. Uh, so I wrote back my code uh, in order to get as close as I can to where this video actually ended. And then I'm going to try and go through some of the questions that have been asked. And hopefully that's going to help you if you got stuck in, in, yeah, in between uh, video three and four or something. <clears throat> so I remember one of the questions I got was um, this get action in your hand. Uh, how does that work? So this one is getting called from uh, grab actor. So get action in your hand. And I changed it uh, from using get overlapping components to get um, access to get overlapping components. Uh, so what this does instead is to check if a component has uh, this interaction handle uh, tag. Um, so this, since I added this, it breaks how the BP pickup cube works. Uh, so I'm going to fix that and sh uh, sh I'll show how that is fixed. And basically it is the same. It runs through um, each of the overlapping components and then it, it returns this overlapping uh, actor. In the end, you can see I uh, assign it to a temporary actor uh, by getting the owner and checking if it has this I pick up actor interface, uh, whatever you called it, but it's a, um, that original I pick up actor that I used. And I make sure to check the distance that it's uh, smaller than any previous one and this nearest overlap needs to be set to per default to a, a very high value so it uh, picks up the first one and basically just finds this one uh, sets it if it is so that's really all there is to it at this stage here i'm going to change it in a future video uh, but this is how it looks at this point here if you got stuck there uh, so I mentioned the BP pickup um, inside that, if you have that open, uh, you want to go to the static mesh component and you want to find the tags here and add a component tag called interaction uh, handle, like this. And that should uh, enable you to pick up cubes again. Um, so some people have also asked, um, my BP mover is not working, how can I made, make it work? And at this stage here, you can't actually um, move anything. I, I will show in the next video, I believe, how you can uh, create a kind of a hierarchy of um, objects so that you can create this BP physics mover which I for some reason have in the project at this stage. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I have a bunch of other things that are kind of broken because I did this rollback. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but anyway, this is going to eventually work in video four, I believe. Uh, that's where I get it to move uh, in one axis. Um, so that should really fix, I hope, uh, most of the questions uh, I got. Oops. So this is a physics slider, as you can see, um, and that is the one I'm going to create in the next video. And the cubes, kind of broken, but you can pick them up again. Oops. Oopa. Something. There's something when they, they touch things, and I can't really... Well figure out exactly why but um, I hope I am dealing with it in a later stage uh, anyway um, so I get a, uh, a warning here which is uh, something with um, uh, f um, physics constraints I don't remember what they changed uh, and how I handled this but I know um, I did make this in 4.15 uh, originally and when I opened this one up I opened it up in uh, 4.16 because I don't have 15 anymore uh, so that might be uh, something that is being fixed in a later stage uh, version or 
maybe something that was introduced in 4.16 I'm not entirely sure right uh, let me know if you have any more questions uh, I don't see what I can do but obviously it's been quite a long time since I made this so I might have forgotten a few things anyway I hope this helped just a little bit bye bye